لحقت اليوم امتحانهم خير على خير اذا ما لحقت احدد موعد نهائي لهم يكون الاسبوع القادم يمتحنون به this this chapter is called word formation processes and the chapter talks about the processes in which we form new words or we add new words to the language and a new word added to the language is called a neologism a neologism refers to any new word in our language any new word in the language is called neologism and the study of the origin and the history of a word and where uh, does the word uh, come from is called etymology etymology is the study or the, uh, of the origin and history of, of words uh, we started with the word formation process and the first process that we started with is the process of coinage coinage is to coin or to make new words and uh, it's the invention of totally new words new words from scratch new words from zero from nothing totally new word uh, especially words for trade names or products commercial products like aspirin nylon google vaseline Kleenex, uh, pepsi etc if the new word if the invented word refers to the name of a person or a place then it's called an eponym If the word refers to the name of person or place, it's called an eponym, uh, like uh, Fahrenheit, Volt, Watt, uh, etc. And that's the process of coinage. The second process is called borrowing. In borrowing, we borrow words. We take words from other languages. English takes words from Italian, Persian, Arabic, Turkish, German, and so on. And also the other languages borrow words from English. Borrowing. A part of borrowing is called loan translation or calc. In this part, uh, one language takes a word from another language and then it translates its parts and then it, it combines both parts together and, and have a new word. شو سوى مثلاً اللغة الإنجليزية من تأخذ كلمة من الألمانية تأخذ جزء من هالكلمة وترجم معناها وجزء ثاني من الكلمة وترجم معناها وجمع الترجمتين أو الكلمتين أو معنى الكلمتين يكون هي الكلمة اللي داخلة جديدة داخل اللغة. This is called loan loan translation or calc, which belongs to borrowing. A third process is called compounding. You know, compounding means joining two or more words together to form a totally new word, a word that has a new dictionary meaning, like housewife, armchair, sunrise, suitcase, teacup, uh, Middle East, first class, uh, washing machine, ice cream, fingerprint, textbook, wallpaper, wastebasket, that's compounding. Some compounds are separated by hyphens. Sometimes we have two separate, se uh, separable words, and sometimes we have the compound word as a single word, like this, fingerprint, textbook. Uh, a fourth process is called blending. In blending, uh, as the name suggests, we combine words together. Not initials of words, not letters from words, but parts of words. We take one part from one word, and then another part from another word. Uh, so we usually take the beginning of one word and the end of another, like brunch, taking the beginning of breakfast and the end of lunch, it becomes a brunch. And motel taking the beginning of motor and the end of hotel and it becomes a uh, motel. Sometimes in few blends we combine both beginnings, uh, the beginnings of both words, like telex. Telex means uh, teleprinter and exchange, taking the beginning of teleprinter and the beginning of exchange. And that's the process of blending, and that's all about the first part of this chapter. Again, again, this chapter is about the processes of word formation, how to form new words, how to add new words to the language. And we have different processes. A new word that is added to the language is called neologism, and the study of the origin of words is called etymology. And uh, coinage, it's Inventing new words from nothing, out of scratch, out of zero. 
And eponym, eponym means uh, a, a coined word, but it refers to the name of person or place. And then we have borrowing, borrowing words, taking words from other languages. We have calc, translating parts of words together. And we have compounding, uh, joining two or more words together to form a new word. And we have uh, blending. Blending means mixing words, taking uh, one part of one word, and uh, joining it with another part of another word. Okay, and that's the first part. I think we began with the second part, and we explained the first part. Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. We explained the clipping, and we explained the back formation, and الكونفرشن هم يشرحوا لنا جزء من عندهم صح؟ نعم اللي وراهم شرحناهم؟ لا ارجع اي هاي لهنا وصلنا اه لهنا وصلنا؟ اي نعم استاذ انا اشرح هاي تمام اوكي نشرحها من جديد على السريع بالبداية. Clipping, clipping means uh, uh, reducing a long word or a long form to make it shorter. Uh, a process of reduction, تقليل, تقليص كلمة, تصغير كلمة. Uh, it's usually done by removing the end of the, of the word, or sometimes the beginning and sometimes both beginning and end. شو نسوي هذا الشيء؟ قص عملية القص نهاية الكلمة أو بداية الكلمة أو أحيانا بداية ونهاية السورة. add from advertisement or advertisement, plane from airplane, flu from influenza, math from mathematics, exam from examination. Sometimes we take the end, sometimes we take off the beginning, sometimes the beginning and the end. ها آه خلاص clipping. A part of the clipping is called hypocorism. In hypocorism, which is usually favored by Australian and British English speakers, what? We reduce the word, but then we add IE or Y to it. In movie pictures, Sarat movie, what breakfast are brekkie, what Christmas presents are Chrissy Pressies. So this is called hypocorism, which is usually favored by Australian and British English uh, speakers. Okay. Back formation. This process is also a process of reduction. I am in uh, but here, when we reduce the word, we change it from a noun to a verb. From a noun to a verb. So, television was the long word, and televised is the verb from television. It's shorter, and it's a verb. Emote is shorter, and it's a verb. Babysit is shorter, and it's a verb. An opt is shorter, and it's a verb. Okay, conversion is the process of converting one form or uh, the function of one word from one function to another. In Alaman, Rayer Turkey with Kelima or Shakilhe, high process of conversion, we change the function of the word. We play with the function of the word. يعني نتحكم ب نغير وظيفة الكلمة وليس في شكلها مثل ما شفنا بالكلمات السابقة يعني تلفزيون صارت تلفاز غيرنا شكله صارت أقل 
وهكذا كل البروسيسز السابقه غيرنا بشكل الكلمه اما هنا أنا راح نغير في وظيفه الكلمه شلون امثله a noun to a verb احنا شرحنا a وشرحنا b و c و d و e اعتقد اي وصلنا الى f و g و h خلينا نشرح نرجع على هذا من البدايه a noun to a verb like bottle bottle is a noun you know and chair is a noun but you can use chair as a verb which means to manage uh, an interview or a management or uh, you know a, a presentation someone has to chair the meeting or to chair the presentation or to chair the interview or to chair the company to be in charge of to manage okay يكون مسؤول عن يقود او يدير باعتبار هو كرسي يعني but here chair is not used as a noun it's used as a verb bottle to bottle fruit is to put fruit into containers I wish you could bottle their energy to save their energy and butter here is to put butter on something like a verb from the noun butter so here we change the noun to a verb did we reduce the word no the word is kept the same but we only changed its function we only converted its function وظيفته. The second type is what a verb to a noun. هنا أنا ال verb غير نا نا. We know that a guess is a verb. يخمن. Spy is a verb. بس نقدر نستخدمها نا نا. هاي الأي ما موجودة. خطأ طبيعي. ومن أقول أنا he is a spy. يعني هو جاسوس. Spy is originally a verb, but I use it as a noun when I say he is a spy. Or if I say okay. Uh, you asked me a question and I said, um, take a guess. For example, you said, uh, who told you so? And I said, uh, mm, take a guess. Now, guess, I treated guess here as a noun. Then I put this article before, this indefinite article, a. Again, here we change the function of the word from a verb to a noun. هاي أول نوعين من الكونفرشن نكمل شرح بعدها حتى بعدين نشوف شنو إذا عندكم سؤال لحد الكونفرشن phrasal verb to a noun sometimes the phrasal verb print out hand out etc we uh, change it to a noun print out computer print out lesson hand out okay uh, print out is a phrasal verb it's a verb with a particle with two parts okay a verb with a particle like a preposition or an adverb or something uh, we use it as as a noun here a computer printout and what print out here is used as a noun a verb to adjective see through is a verb to see through something okay is a verb but we can use it as an adjective a see-through blouse يعني خميس أو شيرت أو بلوز يعني ممكن أشوف من خلاله خفيف خفيف a see-through material a see-through window يعني شباك ممكن أشوف من خلاله شفاف مو مظلل مثلا a see-through window see-through window see-through here is an adjective it describes the window but it's originally a, a verb but we change this function to an adjective Sometimes we change the adjective to a verb. لاحظوا هنا سهل نحفظها. Noun to verb نحفظ عليه مثال. هسا نقلبها بالعكس. Verb to noun. هنا نترك هاي. هسا نا verb to adjective. Adjective to verb. لاحظوا شلون سهل حفظها. هاي نحفظها فريز verb to noun. Adjective to verb. Empty is an adjective. Can I use it as a verb? Yes. If I say, for example, would you mind emptying out your pockets? فرغ جيوبك اوكي okay. here empty is used as as a verb okay compound noun to a verb microwave you know the microwave that device which you have in, in your uh, kitchen the microwave uh, for cooking microwave is is, is a noun okay. but i can use it it's it's a compound noun micro and wave together they make microwave مايكرو طبعا لها معنى والويف لها معنى بس مايكرويف هاي لها معنى مايكرو معناها صغير والويف معناها موجه مايكرويف ما ترجمها الموجه الصغيره مايكرويف هو هذا جهاز الطبخ 
اللي اكيد يعتمد هو على الموجات الصغيره So if I say, shall I microwave something for dinner? يعني تريد حميلك شيء بال microwave. If I say, shall I microwave, it means shall I do something for you? Shall I cook? Shall I clean? Shall I write? Shall I open? Shall I close? Shall I do anything? It's a verb. It's a verb here, but it's originally a, a compound now. And again, and again, and again, we changed its function. We converted its function from a compound noun to a verb. Okay. Up and down can also be converted to verbs or changed to verbs or used as verbs. Up or down, ممكن نستخدمهم كافعال. To up the price of oil, which means to increase the price of oil. Up. The price. صح قليل استخدامها ولكن مستخدمة. We downed three enemy planes with our missiles. يعني أسقطنا ثلاث طائرات العدو. Downed, down, from an adverb to a verb. Again, we changed its function. Now up and down. استخدمناها كأفعال. واحدة معناها يرفع. أو يزيد وثاني معناها يسقط. هنا noun to verb واحد ممكن يسأل الأستاذ شنو الفرق بين هذا H وبين A؟ A هم noun to verb وهنا أيضا we have noun to verb دقيقة بس الفرق أنه here the word has a negative sense a, a, a different meaning يعني doctor here is not related to the doctor the noun. Doctor the verb is not related to the doctor the noun, though there is some kind of relationship. يعني المعنى ما مرتبط حتى لو كان كشوي ارتباط خفيف ما مرتبط. نقول the picture is doctored. يعني الصورة متلاعب بيها. Framed, forged, fake, manipulated, photoshopped. ملعوب بها الصورة متغيرة مزورة. Doctored. يعني بمعنى تم معالجة الصورة وتغيرها. The evidence was doctored. تم معالجة الدليل. تم تزوير الدليل. The evidence was doctored. يعني جا واحد وهو هو خلى الدليل بمسرح الجريمة. يعني مثلا واحد قتل شخص وجاب دليل من جاب مثلا يعني تكرمون حذاء شخص آخر. أو مثلا شعر من من شخص آخر وزرعه بالجريمة بشكل عشوائي حتى ما يبين صور ذا مثلا جواز سفر فد شيء أي دليل ثاني يثبت يثبت يعني اتهام شخص آخر يتهم شخص آخر يثبت إدانة شخص آخر this this means doctoring the evidence doctor here is is a verb شنو الاختلاف عن اي؟ الاختلاف عن اي انه باي كانت الكلمه مرتبطه بالمعنى noun to verb نقول chair كرسي as a noun نقول chair as a verb مرتبطه ايضا to chair to, to manage the meeting someone who is sitting on on the uh, on the management chair butter زبد with a verb يعني جاي يخلي زبد على التوست او البريد او or anything so meanings are related but here the meanings are not related وهنا نكون خلصنا من الكونفرشن لحد الان اكو سؤال خصوص اي شيء بهذا الفصل قبل لا نكمل الاكرونومي والديريفيشن من عنده سؤال نعم اوكي نكمل الاكرونومي أكرونيمي باختصار هي اختصار باختصار هي اختصار يعني شنو؟ يعني uh, taking the initials of words and put the, putting them together to make a new word ناخذ بدايات الكلمات خليهن سوا ونكون كلمة 
اكو طالب اسالتني اعتقد من الشعوب ذيك ما او من شعوب ما اعرف من ذيك الشعوب نعم قالت شنو الفرق بين الاكرونومي والبلندنج حتى البلندنج ناخذ جزء من كلمات ونخليها سوا الفرق انه البلندنج ناخذ جزء من كلمه لا ناخذ اول حرف فقط من من من, من, من مجموعه كلمات taking the initials of a set of words set of words يعني سي دي جايه من compact disk فناخذ السي وناخذ الدي يعني اي بي اي تذكرون الاي بي اي جايه من انترناشونال فنتيك اسوسيشن الاي من انترناشونال والبي فروم فنتيك والاي فروم اسوسيشن او الفابت ناسا ناسا جايه من ناشونال ايرونوتكس اند سبيس ادمنستريشن فيفا جاية من Federation International of Football Association USA جاية من United States of America UK جاية من United Kingdom ولكن شنو الفرق هنا؟ الفرق هنا انه عندنا نوعين بالنوع الاول نقرا الحروف قراءة يعني نقول CD IPA USA تلاحظون يعني IPA ما قرأتها إبا USA ما قرأتها يوسا أو رؤوسا لا قرأتها USA قرأت الحروف لفظت الحروف أما ناسا لا ما قلت NASA والفيفا ما قلت FIFA واليونسكو ما قلت UNISCO واليونسف ما قلت UNICEF لا قرأت كلمة. so sometimes you read the letters as uh, an entire word and sometimes you read the initials. you just pronounce the initials. and this process called acronymy. هاي العملية نسميها uh, acronymy. منظمة الصحة العالمية who who w h o who world health organization. وعندنا مجموعة كلمات عن ال uh, acronyms. واضحة الأكرونومي؟ يس واضحة The last process is is the most commonly used process هاي أكثر أكثر عملية مستخدمة لأنه here in this process we use uh, affixes we add affixes prefixes suffixes and infixes هنا نضيف أما prefixes Then like, say dislike, antisocial, or antisocial, incorrect, forecast, misunderstand, unhappy, unsure, إلى آخره. هاي ال prefixes اللي نخليها بداية الكلمة. وانتو تخيلوا بعد كم ال أو العدد عدد الكلمات اللي اللي ممكن نضيف لها prefixes. إيش قد؟ أكو كلمات نضيف لها suffixes: happiness, punishment, dangerous, logical, bird-like, uh, writing, amazing, hopeful, clockwise. إلى آخره. كلمات أيضا تخيل العدد نضيف لها suffixes. Sometimes we add infixes inside the words. Mouse becomes mice. جمع. Foot feet. هاي infix بيه. Mother in law sir. Mothers in law بالجمع. يعني الاس هاي infix inside the word. It's an infix. Okay. أحياناً ما يقولون مثلاً سنغافورة إذا شايفين متكلمين خصوصاً بريطانيين بريطانيين دائماً يستخدمون كلمة bloody bloody. Okay. الأمريكان يستخدمون غير كلمة يستخدمون the f word. You know the f word. Okay. But don't say it. البريطانيين يقولون سنغافورة bloody poor. Singapore bloody poor. Instead of saying Singapore, they say uh, Singapore bloody poor. Bloody is a word, but here it's used as an infix. It's talking about infix inside the word. Singapore bloody poor. Tell them I've gone to Singapore bloody poor. Oh, but then, but then, my goal outstanding. Outstanding, my name Okay, outstanding, my name is But you go, you go out freaking standing. Oh, oh, that movie was out freaking standing. Like it's it's amazing, it's great. Freaking here is is a word, but we added the word inside. طبعا هاي سلانج هاي مو كلمة رسمية ولكنها مستخدمة باللغة وخلاص ما دام مستخدمة نعتبرها حال حال أي كلمات سلانج مستخدمة عامية. 
And that's that's all about this chapter. ترى ما اكو مشكله اذا تسالون اسئله احسن مما انه بعدين انا امتحن طالب واقول للطالب يا ابي تعال شيء صار والله ما فاهم واحنا نقول يا ابي ترى مو جاي نسال نقول اكو سؤال اكو سؤال اكو سؤال ليش ما تسال صارت بالشعب الثاني يعني سال الطالب قال استاذ والله انا ما فاهم ايش يعني ليش ما فاهم اي شيء وين شنيت انا وين اذا ماكو سؤال انه انت فاهمين خلاص انا ما عندي مشكله بس اذا عندي سؤال ايضا ما عندي مشكله بالعكس افرح اكثر العفو استاذ نعم استاذ الانفكس العام اخذناها التغير يصير بس بالحرفين مثل البدايه والنهايه هسه ما ما يعني ما افتهم شلون واضح صار يعني هي ان لاحظ ان فيكس يعني ان يعني شنو ان؟ اي تغير بالوسط يصير اي استهنى اوكي يعني فوت فوت صارت فيت تغيرت مان صارت مان ماوس صارت مايس التغيير يصير بال بال بوسط الكلمه او يصير داخل الكلمه مو الا بالوسط يعني مو يصير تغيير داخل الكلمه ما يصير تغيير لا ببدايتها ولا بنهايتها حتى لا نعتبرها لا بريفكس ولا سفكس اه تمام